when a charged capacitor is connected across a coil, an alternating potential difference is observed across the coil. This combination is called an oscillator. The alternating potential is observed due to the principle of electromagnetic self-induction. Let's learn about this in detail. When a current passes through a coil, some magnetic field is created so that the coil itself behaves like a magnet. The magnetic flux produced by the current in the coil is linked with the coil itself. And when the current in the coil changes, this flux linked with the coil also changes. Under such circumstances also, there would be an EMF induced in the coil, which is called a self-induced EMF. This phenomenon is called self-induction. If the number of turns in a coil is n, and the flux linked with each turn is phi, then the total flux linked with the coil is n phi. Now if the flux is due to a current I passing through the coil, the total flux per unit current is L is equal to n phi upon I. The parameter L is called the self-inductance of the coil. Its value depends upon the size and the shape of the coil, as well as the number of turns. It also depends upon the magnetic property of the medium within the coil. For example, if the coil is wound around a soft iron core, after ensuring proper insulation, L attains a very large value. The equation self-inductance L is equal to n phi upon I can be written as n phi is equal to L I. Therefore, n into d phi upon dt is equal to L into di upon dt. Faraday's law holds for self-induction. Hence, the self-induced EMF is E is equal to minus N into d phi upon dt. From the equations N into d phi upon dt is equal to L into di upon dt and E is equal to minus N into d phi upon dt, we get E is equal to minus L into di upon dt. If we take di upon dt is equal to one unit, then E is equal to minus L. So the self-inductance of a circuit can be defined as the self-induced electromotive force per unit rate of change of the current in the circuit. If E is measured in volts, I in amperes, and T in seconds, then L is in Henry. The unit for self-inductance is Henry. In the equation, E is equal to minus L into di upon dt. If di upon dt is equal to 1 ampere per second and the induced EMF is 1 volt, then the self-inductance of the circuit is 1 Henry. In a circuit, a component which has self-inductance is called an inductor. The symbol for an inductor in a circuit is shown. Lenz's law also holds for self-inductance. Let us summarize what we have learned. We understood that self-induction is defined as the phenomenon in which a change in electric current in a circuit produces an induced electromotive force in the same circuit. We learned that self-inductance of a circuit is defined as the self-induced electromotive force per unit rate of change of the current in the circuit and its value depends upon the size and shape of the coil, number of turns and the magnetic property of the medium within the coil. 
When a varying potential is applied across a single coil, an EMF is induced in the coil due to self-induction. When another coil is brought near such a coil, the other coil also gets an induced EMF. This process is called mutual induction. To know about it in detail, stay tuned. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.